Hi, everybody. So uh, here we are at the Franklin Park Zoo, and I'm going to talk to you about whether we should have zoos at all. And uh, I, I will not keep you in deep suspense. I will tell you that I believe strongly that there is an important role for zoos uh, in the world that we live in. Um, but I don't think that uh, reasonable people all have to come to that same conclusion. Uh, I don't think zoos are necessarily an unadulterated good. Um, I think there are very few unadulterated goods, uh, I guess, for the record. Um, but, you know, I think there are a lot of questions about how do zoos function, uh, how should they function, and, um, but, I th but I think there are a lot of important things that the zoos are doing that uh, it's important to uh, focus on. Um, I guess, you know, let's, let's, start about, let's start with, like, what, what are zoos doing that's different? You heard earlier from Roy Brown about where zoos came from, how they got started, uh, how some things, you know, maybe went awry and sort of looking forward. This, the zoo is going to be less about, hey, come look at these animals and, and consume them um, visually and more about helping people understand about where these animals fit in the world and where we fit in the world with them. So the things that the zoos are doing really well, um, I think, are the things that are being, uh, th that are really the focus of the people who are running the zoos. Uh, that is educating people about animals in the environments that they live in. That's uh, promoting, you know, new research in into animal health and how animals and humans uh, may relate to each other. And you heard some, uh, some snippets of that uh, earlier tonight. Um, zoos are doing a really great job of engaging animals in, in new ways in their exhibits. Uh, you heard from a uh, speaker earlier about, you know, birds in captivity, and I think there are, there are a lot of questions about how do, we, how do we make captivity as enriching for animals as possible, and zoos are doing a lot of uh, really interesting work in that area um, that are helping animals become bigger and stronger and faster and smarter. Uh, and that's changing the ways that we, we interact with them. Uh, zoos are doing a lot to reduce the amount of uh, you know, sedatives and tranquilizers that they need to have uh, when they're to help with their interactions for animals. So through training and trust building with uh, animals, they're able to do a lot of um, you know, uh, health checks and other procedures without stressing the animals uh, and without having to uh, sedate the animals uh, to do that. Another thing that zoos are doing that's really important, you know, take this zoo, which is just about in the geographic center of the city of Boston, is, you know, zoos are acting as a, as a way to introduce the people in an urban environment, and, and by that I include all the heavily developed suburbs that extend out around Boston, to the animals that they share the world with. Um, and there's been a lot written about what happens when we are disconnected from nature and the zoos are providing a way for people to come in and interact with nature in a, in a, in a pretty proximate way. Uh, if I were a tapir, you'd be pretty close to me. Um, and that's something that I don't think any other sort of institution uh, provides. And, and so people get to walk out of here having a sense of, hey, there are these other animals out in the world and there are these habitats where they exist. Um, and, you know, I'm a part of that world, too. And so if we get people to come in and say, oh, I'm going to learn a little bit about how my choices uh, impact, you know, the n these native species in some other part of the world, whether it's, you know, palm oil production and its impact on orangutans or how much water I'm using in my suburban home and how it's impacting fish and turtle health in, you know, local streams and rivers, um, that's a really important uh, you know, uh, function that the zoo can help uh, perform. And that, what that does, I think, ultimately, is it creates a level of, uh, or a degree of empathy between us humans and the animals that, that we share the world with. Um, that's, that's really important. And I think that when we all come here, whether it's for a talk like this or, you know, people come in with their families to see animals um, and they react to them together side by side with people that they don't know and maybe people that don't live in their neighborhoods or in their town, um, that creates an opportunity for us to develop some empathy with each other because, shockingly, we all react to cute baby animals the same way. Uh, we all re react to the you know, gorillas looking us in the eyes in the same way, um, and that's a pretty powerful moment for us uh, to share with our, our fellow humans. Um, you know, I, th I think 
the you know the other side of the coin though is that you know we are holding animals in captivity and um, most of the animals here I, I I can't say unequivocally that there are no animals here that came from the wild that weren't you know that weren't damaged or injured in some ways but I think it's you know, it's pretty close to true um, and you know but but the truth remains like you're coming here we're looking at animals who are in captivity and I think all things being equal we'd love them all to be you know soaring through the air or running across the savanna or or what have you um, but you know that's not the world we live in and it's not the world we're going to live in anytime soon and so you know absent that uh, having these animals here giving us a chance to interact with them and see them and come to understand them more deeply and then come to understand what roles and responsibilities we have to help you know create a world that is more generous and forgiving and allows them to thrive um, and avoids the, the threat of extinction in the way that they are now facing. You know, that's, a, that's a really important thing that the zoos are doing um, you know, in the real world. You know, that's the reality that we live in. Um, so I think, again, I think we can all hope for some you know, brighter future for our animal species and their environments. But um, you know, until that day, zoos are, are, are um, you know, performing a really important function uh, and a really important role that I think you know we should continue to believe in and invest in um, going forward. Thank you very much.